dirt bikes was my life. You know, you couldn't tell me anything, anything else. I wouldn't, wasn't, wouldn't listen. I quit my job the week before um, on the Friday to pursue uh, riding a dirt bike full time. Sun was out, great day, we were, you know, riding around. I think it was about 11 o'clock, went out for another, you know, another practice session. And there was a big jump, we were jumping it all day, no real issues. By the time I took off the ramp, I knew something wasn't right. My feet were not where they were meant to be. And I just thought, oh, I'm, I'm gonna break something here, whether it be an arm or a leg. Hit the ground and shot a C4-5 and that was it. That's the last time I ever, I ever walked or moved my hands. Sitting from where I am now, there's more to life than riding a dirt bike. You know, you get, when, when I crashed and was laying on the track, going through my head was everything but riding a dirt bike again, you know. Will I ever get married? Will I ever have kids? Will I get to travel the world? What will life be like? Will, you know, it, everything but riding a dirt bike run through my mind. That was me. The minute I landed on the track, that was me done riding a dirt bike. Most able-bodied people don't understand when you have an injury like this. You think walking, not being able to walk is the biggest issue, but it's, it's, all, the, it's all the little things that day to day that you take for granted. So now I, I think about it, but it doesn't, it doesn't weigh me down. It doesn't, you know, I don't resent it. With dad having a spinal cord injury 10 years before me, he, I think he really knew, he knew definitely what it was definitely like. You know, he was there for the first, every day I was in hospital, he was there every morning. He gave me breakfast, he was there, he was always about. When we got out of hospital, he took me to making strides every day, whether I was doing one session a day, two sessions a day, he was there. Just give me every chance that I could to make the best recovery early on as I could. Meeting great guys like Perry Cross, who really, I think, very early on become really one of my inspirations of to what, what really can be done. He has it tougher than all of us, but he's doing more than anyone else to find this cure. It's really, it's really, like, was really inspirational to me early on and hearing, you know, the travels and what Perry does and how he's got such a zest for life, it really, Really, I think it's, it really spurs it really spurs me on, and I think many other people feel really the same too. It's great to get involved and play a small part in what Perry's doing um, with the spinal cord research, and hopefully we can help raise some money and continue the great work he's he's doing. Sip Week is a week where we all sign up, and like I do every day, for me it's just another week, you know, of drinking my beverages through a straw. I've got the hand function to hold, uh, to hold a cup or anything. So um, I use a straw. Everything if it's in a bottle and it's in a cup, if it's in a beer, um, there's, there's usually a straw in it. I really appreciate your support as we push for a cure for paralysis. Everything is possible.